the grip, the analog sticks, the rumble, the future of gaming controllers. When the PS5 and Xbox 2 get released, they may feature 8K graphics and lightning-fast hard drives, but it's the controller that truly matters. Luckily, we have exclusive information on each controller and can determine which one will reign supreme, who will win, and which controller boasts a game-changing secret feature that has never been seen on gaming consoles before. Watch our PS5 and Xbox 2 controller battle to find out. The Upgrades Unlike Nintendo, where every new console comes with a complete controller mutation, the upgrades in the PS5 and Xbox will be a little more subtle, but still significant. First, let's look at the DualShock 5. While Sony has yet to release any pictures, a Japanese patent filing has given us our best look at the new device. And wow! Goodbye light bar. Hello USB-C. The grip and design of the controller is a little bulkier, making some natural comparisons to the Xbox controller. The analog sticks run deeper. The triggers are larger. This could be Sony's ultimate key to winning the console wars. But don't count Xbox out just yet. For the best look at the Xbox 2 controller, check out the current Xbox Elite controller. Retailing for a whopping $180, the controller has so many great features that not too many changes will be implemented for the new design. Microsoft will stick to what works best, and history shows that they love the design they've been working with. Microsoft already confirmed that all Xbox One controllers will work with the new console, giving gamers an arsenal of options to choose from. The drastic changes in the DualShock 5 definitely make it the more intriguing option, but we're just getting started. <laughs> Symbols versus Letters Back in the 90s, Sony was trying to be the cool new kid on the block by introducing symbols on the controller instead of Sega and Nintendo's default letters. Well, they are still paying for that decision as the four symbols have become a trademark part of Sony's image. And we'll continue on with the PS5. Meanwhile, Xbox kept things simple with the XYAB layout, one that has worked for them for years. Before even comparing the two, gamers often debate Sony symbols. There's a square, triangle, circle, and then X. Or is it a cross? Or is cross just too much of a pain to say? Then there's the placement of the X. It's the bottom button on the controller. On the Xbox, it's the left button. So if you like to play both sides of the console wars, then it can get real confusing which X you're supposed to press. Nothing worse than losing a game when you pressed A instead of X, or vice versa. Sony's symbols may have come first, but there was nothing broken with the whole letter system anyway, and we're sick of calling the X a cross. Advantage Xbox 2. Going Pro Both Microsoft and Sony are committed to offering low launch prices on the next generation of consoles, but they'll really get you in your bank account with the upgrades, including their Pro controllers. We already mentioned the Xbox Pro controller, which may have a few tweaks before launching with the Xbox 2, but Sony will also take advantage of the Pro controller life as well. I mean, how could you call yourself a true gamer unless you got the best of the best when it comes to a controller? With interchangeable analog grips, customizable options, and a longer battery life, maybe, just maybe, the extra hundred bucks or so are worth it. The controllers are definitely worth the bragging rights. Nothing like showing up at a friend's house and whipping out your advanced wireless controller. Boom! Currently, the PS4 has official releases of the Razer Raiju and the Nacon Revolution. The funny part about the Revolution, it's almost like a clone of the Xbox controller. Either way, expect both Pro models to get the PS5 upgrade. With Sony allowing other companies to really take advantage with the tech and team up with them, they have a pretty big advantage here. The only loser in this round are wallets. Analog Sticks and Triggers Analog sticks have been a literal game-changer in the way we make precision movements and have only gotten more precise and accurate over the years. Well, get ready for some even bigger changes once the PS5 and Xbox Scarlet get released. As seen in the DualShock 5 patent that Sony filed, the new controller will have analog sticks that go deeper into the body of the controller. This is done to create an even more realistic feeling while you play. Game features will adapt directly to the analog sticks. You will not be able to just slam them up in different directions. On a jungle adventure and trapped in some quicksand, well, the analog stick will be a little tougher to move. It's hard to tell how many games will implement the feature, or if it'll be a useful gimmick. But either way, the accuracy will improve. Both Sony and Microsoft have also announced some major changes to the triggers on these controllers. Don't get too trigger happy with your gaming finger, because both controllers will have sensitive trigger buttons that can read the pressure even more accurately. 
So instead of just mindlessly revving cars, you can control exactly how far you want jam the gas pedal down. Well, with Scarlet keeping some of their details under wraps, we have to give the round to DualShock 5 by default. Cross-Platform Play The gaming companies have made their mark on creating the perfect controller for their own consoles. But we are in a whole different gaming world now. A world where gamers can unite. A world with cross-platform play. <laughs> Sorry for being so dramatic there, but cross-platform play does make a big difference when it comes to choosing the proper controller. In short, no matter how great the DualShock 5 performs or the Xbox Elite controller reacts, nothing will beat the precision and accuracy of a gaming mouse and keyboard. Analog sticks will just never compare when it comes to the accuracy of aiming with a computer mouse. Don't go throwing your new imaginary controller in the trash just yet. Sony and Microsoft know the pitfalls of a PC gaming setup versus a standard controller and have built-in ways to help. Thanks to new cross-platform features already being implemented in games like Call of Duty, your stats don't need to go down. When in cross-platform action, simply toggle off keyboard players to eliminate them from your playing field. Boom and boom. Better yet, you can use a keyboard and mouse setup on your next-gen consoles as a way to even the playing field. Just have a gaming desk handy. Playing with a keyboard and mouse on your lap is a disaster. Enjoying the console battle? Well, continue the PS5 vs Xbox 2 war by watching our PlayStation vs Xbox Gamers video when you're done! PC Gaming For some gamers, when the new PS5 and Xbox 2 gets released, they may bypass the whole new console altogether and opt in for just the controller itself. The reason? Both controllers are compatible with all types of PC gaming. The Bluetooth technology allows the controllers to easily connect to a computer and have full feature access. Microsoft has been doing this for years, starting with the Xbox 360. Pre-installed drivers made the controllers connect within seconds, so gamers didn't need to fiddle around with settings. Then Sony swooped in, stole their tactic, and introducing PC drivers of their own for the DualShock line of controllers. The most ideal use for the setup? Connecting to the PS Now or Xbox Game Pass streaming service. You don't even need a console to play the whole library of cloud-based streaming games on their service. The PS Now subscription automatically includes computer access, while the Xbox Game Pass has a variety of tiers, including a PC-only option. The controllers also work with Steam and are even compatible with Google's new cloud-based gaming option Stadia. Considering that Microsoft was on the forefront of the PC controller connection, we have to give them the slight edge in this round. Alternate Controllers Who here remembers Mad Cat's controllers? Back in the 90s and early 2000s, the third-party company rocked our world with cheaper and odd controller designs for consoles like the Xbox and PS1. Slowly, the advancements in controllers pushed a lot of these products out of the market, but there are still some alternative options when it comes to gaming controllers for the next-gen consoles of 2020. Arcade lovers will love to get their hands on some joystick fight pads, and new models will probably have a lot of the same features of the past. The true market for alternative controllers will come in the form of adaptive controllers for anyone with handicaps or physical limitations. This is where Microsoft has a huge advantage, as the Xbox Adaptive Controller includes all kinds of custom features and inputs for literally every button on the controller. Want a foot pedal for A and a clicker for X? Done and done. The truly innovative controller will live on through the Xbox 2, and allow all types of gamers a chance to play without the need to grip or hold a traditional controller. Sorry, Mad Cats. But Microsoft wins the round because of their adaptive controller and the ability to build an inclusive gaming community. Outdated Features Out with the old and in with the new. The PS5 seems to be making some of the biggest changes with their new DualShock controller, which means goodbye light bar. Leave the gimmicks to other companies because PlayStation gamers just want the basics. And the light bar was always some type of failed novelty that didn't really catch on. Well, thankfully, the PS5 DualShock patent has actually removed the light bar. The charging port got moved towards the light bar position, making it much easier to game while you're tethered to the console. The new DualShock also looks to add a built-in microphone, ideal for voice commands and for game streaming. Now your witty commentary, rage reactions, and other vocals may all be captured while you play. 
With the mic all nice and close, all the audio becomes extremely easy to pick up on. The Xbox 2 controller may also feature a mic, but considering how the Xbox One already removed the digital assistant Cortana, don't expect to use the same interactions. The mic would be used exclusively for gaming and streaming. Once again, Microsoft is being a little secretive on their features, giving Sony a slight advantage out the gate. An advantage of information. Either way, Sony is definitely taking steps in the right direction to provide the best gaming controller possible. Special Edition Controllers With every new console comes the onslaught of Special Edition controllers, essentially just an extra skin for the controller. We still love to see those designs, and always have regrets not holding out to get these incredible controller packages. So what can we expect with the Xbox 2 and PS5? Well, let's look at some of the past console bundles to get a glimpse. The PS4 released the Spider-Man bundle with a sweet red and white special edition controller. The Xbox One has the awesome looking Grey Gears 5 controller. There's also a sleek design for Jedi Fallen Order. And speaking of Star Wars, the PS4 also released the Special Battlefront 2 bundle with a custom Star Wars controller. So when the new consoles launch, look for the launch games to figure out what types of special consoles may be available. On Sony's side, we could see another Spider-Man bundle, while Microsoft may supply us with some type of sweet Halo Infinite package. Both companies play things pretty smart here, giving them a draw on this one. If they release just the controller on its own, that's a huge plus though. Hint hint Microsoft and Sony, classic gaming. A huge part of enjoying the next generation of consoles is the ability to play games from the past as well. There's no denying the huge libraries of options when it comes to both Xbox 2 and the PS5. The only question that remains is, what's the best way to play them? Well, if you're going really old school with games from the NES, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, or classic arcade options, then the new DualShock will be the best option. Sony has kept the D-pad on their controllers, and the purposeful directions make it a lot easier to control characters in games like Sonic the Hedgehog or Street Fighter. The removal of the light bar is a great choice, but it also limits gamers who want to backtrack and relive some of their favorite PS4 games, which rely on the light bar. For the consistency in designs and improvements in operations, the Xbox 2 controller will provide the best options for any type of Xbox game. With Microsoft's big announcement that the Xbox 2 will work with any previous Xbox game, the controller situation is a sigh of relief. No need for mapping issues or learning whole new controls. So now that you know the details, we'd love to declare the ultimate winner, but it's a little too early to tell. Until we get our hands on the actual controller, the debate will rage on. Now it's your turn. Which controller will be better, the PS5 DualShock or the Xbox 2 Elite? Which grip do you prefer? Do you miss Mad Cat's controllers, or does the Joy-Con rule them all? Well, let us know in the comments and stick around the gamer for more great video game content. We're releasing new videos every couple of days. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with the channel.